Welcome to the CSN channel. Our topic for today is 17 migraine triggers, and I'm sure you're going to be surprised to hear some of them. My name is Abuzar Habibinia. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sport Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSN channel on YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a weekly basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sports nutrition. We have received many requests that we talk about migraine. This is our first video about migraine. Today I'm going to show you the 17 factors that could trigger migraines. Next week I'm going to talk about migraine diet and the week after I'm going to talk about supplements that could help with migraine. Migraine is the second common primary headache. Actually in medicine we have two types of headaches. We call them primary and secondary. Primary headaches are those headaches that are not caused by exogenous disorders. Basically, there is no specific pathology behind them, such as tension headache, migraine, cluster, sung, sauna. We have 16, 17 types of primary headaches, but most people, they just know three of them. Migraine, tension headache, and cluster headache. And I'm gonna talk about those 16, 17 primary headaches one by one in the future. The secondary headaches are those headaches that usually there is a reason for them. For example, if you have a tumor to the head, if someone has a brain tumor, they could cause headache and we call them secondary headache. But today I'm gonna to show you the potential factors that could trigger your migraine attacks. And I'm sure that you know migraine is pretty much common about 15% of women and 8% of men, they suffer from migraine. Okay, let's review those 17 factors. I have put them on the board already for you and we're gonna review one by one. Number one, emotional stress. If you are going through any kind of emotional stress, that could trigger your migraine. Number two, food allergies. Oh, that is true. Few studies show that if you have allergy to certain foods, this could trigger your migraine. Allergy to wheat, egg, peanut, corn, beef, cow milk, mushroom, tomato, cane sugar. There is a long list of them and I mentioned the most common ones. Number three, excessive sodium intake. If you are having too much salt in your diet, this could trigger your migraine. Number four, weather changes. For some reason that is still we do not know, changes in weather could trigger migraine. Like when there is a storm, high altitude, when there is a gloomy weather, you may have uh, your migraine attacks. Number five, lack of sleep. Definitely poor sleep is one of the most important uh, factors that could trigger migraine. Fatigue. Number seven, skipping meals. If you skip your meals, or if you are leaving long gaps between your meals because blood sugar goes down, this could trigger your migraine attacks. Number eight, menstruation. Well, this is again one of the most important uh, trigger factors for migraine in women. Number nine, hormonal changes. Anytime that there is a hormonal changes, for example, if a woman is going through a menopause, there is a hormone replacement therapy after menopause. They could trigger migraine attacks. Number 10, excessive caffeine intake or withdrawal from having too much caffeine. If you are a heavy coffee drinker, uh, let's say you are having five, six, uh, coffee a day and you stop right away you know I'm today from this day on I'm not going to have coffee anymore if you had been diagnosed with migraine that sudden withdrawal of having coffee could trigger your migraine attacks number 11 mitral valve prolapse in medicine we call them MVP 
in your heart there is a valve we call a mitral valve mitral valve actually has two flaps in MVP those two flaps they do not close evenly actually it's very common it's about uh, two to three person two to three person of people especially the woman they have mitral valve prolapse and there is a strong relationship between mitral valve prolapse and migraine number 12 nutrient deficiencies there are four nutrients that if you are missing one or two of them definitely you might have migraine attacks calcium magnesium vitamin b2 and vitamin b6 number 13 low serotonin level i'm sure that you know serotonin is famous as happiness hormone serotonin is one of the strange hormones in the body that has been linked to so many things from appetite to craving to depression to obesity number 14 food additives msg monosodium glutamate aspartame nitrates if you are having lots of those processed meats processed meats they contain lots of nitrates if you are having those diet Pepsi they contain aspartame they could trigger your migraine attacks number 15 intense physical exercise number 16 medications there are actually two specific medications for people with heart disease sublingual nitroglycerin and isordeal if you have migraine and you are taking any of these two medications you could have migraine attacks and finally number 17 dehydration if you are not having the right amount of water per day which we discussed in the past you need one glass of water for every 7 kg of your body weight you need one glass of water per 17 pounds of your body weight if you are not getting enough water and overall you are dehydrated this could trigger your migraine attack okay right now you know the 17 factors that could trigger migraine attacks so if you have been diagnosed with migraine in the past and here and there you are getting migraine attacks definitely you could find one or more of these trigger factors and by modifying them in your lifestyle hopefully you decrease the incidence of your migraine attacks we make science easy to understand now you know if you don't want to miss our weekly video you can subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to support us you can share like or comment on this video until next time stay safe stay connected